Yeah, Ali, <laughs> that's a thing. You're getting <laughs> you're getting uglier and uglier. What? I'm you're kidding. No. <laughs> What's up, my fellow chats and copium breathers, and welcome to another episode of the PNG Podcast. I'm your host for today, TJ, and joined with me are the boys, John and Billy, and the Woo-hoo! girls, Hono yeah. and Alex. Yay! Say hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, second episode, uh, here we are. So right off the bat, uh, like, Valentine's Day is coming up, and... Uh, mm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually really excited for Valentine's uh, this year for a number of reasons. But uh, do you do you guys actually celebrate Valentine's? Um, what are what are your plans? What are your plans for Valentine's uh, this year? It's been if a while since I've celebrated anything. Valentine's Day, so uh, but yeah. I am happy to say that this year I am celebrating it. Yes. <gasps> oh, <yeah! laughs> oh, <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, the, uh, Billy has the Valentine. Uh, I don't. Uh, I, I I don't know if I'm supposed to say yet. Uh, it's very early, <laughs> but um, mm, yeah. I don't know if I'm actually. How actually, many? if I'm gonna be honest, if I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'm actually celebrating it. But we are like exchanging Ooh. gifts. Um, that's pretty much. I think it. that counts as celebrating it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Like we're not. You're doing, doing something because you know it's yeah. a celebration. Right? We're not like yeah, that's, going that's anywhere. Celebrating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, it's a long distance. It's thing. a long distance thing, so we're not like actually going anywhere and celebrating it and like having a nice dinner or anything. But uh, yeah, hey, uh, like that, it's something. At least, at yeah. Least you have, yeah, you have something to do. Uh, there's uh, a lot of people out there. Who would die for something like that? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> oh, please um, don't die over it. Please, it's <laughs> not worth it. Just be patient. How, how many years has it has it been since you know, like you started dating someone? Um, <laughs> it's been a while. Has my been? last <laughs> girlfriend was uh, in freshman year of college, so that was what 2012. Oh my god. Oh my a god. long time ago. It's <laughs> Wait, 2022 so now, guys. Wait, Wait that's like were, a decade. That's really sad, actually. You were freshman <laughs> of college while me and Hono were like freshman 14. in high school, right? Yeah, freshman uh, in high school. Yeah. That's I love cool. how you frame it oh like that. You just make me sound <laughs> so much older. Oh my Thanks. God. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. You make me feel old, sister. man. We were minors. <laughs> <laughs> Certified boomer. I yeah, I'm a I'm a boomer. Oh, Wait, wow. TJ, you're older than me, right? No. What? What are you talking really? about? You're the oldest here. Oh, I'm the oldest. What? Oh, I, uh, I mean, uh, we are we are the just same a year? year apart. Okay. I think. John, are you doing anything for Valentine's Day? John? You know, TJ, Do you celebrate Valentine's? I have I have been celebrating Valentine's Day for I don't know for the past maybe ten lovely years of just. Me loving myself. <gasps> mm. Oh my yes. god! Wait, why is that's it only ten? So wait, that's, wait, wait, no, no, no. I, I love how you. Wait, put why it is that it only way. ten years? <laughs> yeah, what happened well, for the ten because, years? Because I think the other half of Valentine's Day was like that was like when I was still back in school. So we we used to celebrate Valentine's Day by just like handing out, you know, like in elementary school when. They did like cards Ooh, and get those candies. Were good times. Good times. Yeah, that yeah, was, that's then, what Valentine's Day used to be like for for me. Yeah, it, it was only until like later on I was like, oh, you're actually supposed to celebrate this with like a significant other. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like the idea of Valentine's Day is a little different, or if not really different, from like where I'm from. Because uh, I heard from Hono that uh, Valentine's Day you in the states. Uh, it's like it's like both parties, like both genders, like exchange gifts. Yeah. Regardless, it's like it's like, cause like in for my country, uh, usually it's the girls on Valentine's Day that get, like hand out presents oh. or like chocolate. Or it's gifts. like that in Japan like, too. And guys right? are the ones. It's who like receive. Sadie Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. Except and then there's the mm-hmm. the white day is for the guys, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The white day is like around March, and that's when the guys oh. uh, give the girls something in return. Oh, that's fun. But like mm. in the states, it's different, right? Like, how does it work in the states? I have no it's... idea. They just have <laughs> equality. That's all. Equality. Yeah, we just have, we just <laughs> have one day. We just yeah. have one day. I thought day it was just one day, and then that—that's it. 
that's just a day where oh. I just buy myself stuff. Wait, so so you are you talking about Philippines or Korea? Korea. Uh, no, Korea. Korea. Oh, okay, Korea. I don't I mean in the Philippines I think it I wouldn't really know that well in the Philippines because I uh I went to an international school instead of a local school. Oh, okay. So like I'm pretty sure this... they adopted the same like, you know, kind of like they give each other gifts like because philippines yeah, is yeah. kind of americanized in a way oh so they just have yeah. like true. one that's valentine's true. day as well yeah it's it, just it's... like one valentine's day i heard in the states it's more of the guys who try to give or hand out <laughs> gifts to the girls to, i like, mean that's just like something i feel like that's just the world like you know the guy is just taking the lead on stuff right like <laughs> yeah, they have to it, make a big show make a big deal out of everything to sh- prove their love to the to the girl right isn't that how it works in most places it's hard to say because like i've never properly like celebrated valentine's because i've never actually been in a relationship before tj but from what i've seen from <laughs> other <feels> couples so <laughs> anyways from what oh, i've seen from other couples um yeah like the valentine's day couples celebrate it together in the states but usually it's like the guy who gives a gift i don't really mm. see girls doing much but th- but some couples yeah. are like oh. both give things gifts That's, yeah i guess i've always imagined it's just a guy that like buys like chocolate or roses or yeah like, makes a fancy and then brings them to like their work dinner or something yeah. mm. and then the girl's responsibility uh. is just to just be excited about it <laughs> what have you what? No, I mean, it's not just that. We, I'm pretty sure girls have a lot to give as well. Oh, you yeah. know. Have true. you ever given something to someone? Like a, a for chocolate or like a gift? Yeah, for Valentine's I Day. I gave lots of gummies too. and chocolates, but that was in elementary school. <laughs> and it was, it was mandatory. Yeah. Yeah. And they it all was a mandatory it. assignment. They yeah, all obligatory let me, let me change. Let me, let yeah. me change the question. Like, do, have you given something to a girl you genuinely had feelings for? Like oh. really liked back in school. Like back in school? <laughs> yeah, yeah, back in school. Not really. Yeah, I can't even remember. <laughs> oh, I you think tried. I had. Wait, I think there was. You didn't like anyone, John? Really? Oh, there was like one time, but it was like a really dumb gift. Say, All right, what was tell it? Us, it, was, tell it was literally like a, one of those uh, party favors that you get at a banquet or like a mm-hmm. wedding reception. It's kind of like was this. It, Oh. Kind of like this. Was Chinese it like a centerpiece charm? <laughs> no, it wasn't a centerpiece. It was kind of like mm. a kind of like a keychain or something that you. Oh, I don't know. Hang from your car or something, and I just had it, and I was like, "Here you go." <laughs> what you say? That's I know it was gift. it was super romantic, <laughs> right? It was super romantic. <laughs> what did she say? Dang. Yeah, what did she say? I don't remember She's if like, she oh, actually thanks. took it or not. <laughs> But I didn't really what? care. So you uh, just like block, you block that memory so far in your brain. It's like, I don't remember if he maybe, she took the keychain or not. I maybe don't know. Like in high much. school, I wasn't necessarily known as like the most romantic type. So, <laughs> um, I was a huge romantic in high school. Ooh. I, uh, I did Casanova. A lot of stuff. No, not, not get like, like I, I just, uh, I was the type of guy who liked to prepare uh, stuff for people. Mm. I think there was one time, I, I uh, <laughs> there was this uh girl I wanted to give uh like gifts on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I I knew for a fact that she really liked Starbucks, and she lived pretty far away from anywhere that had Starbucks. So you brought so, really? Starbucks uh, to what? her. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> you can live uh, far like, away yeah, from like, Starbucks. Like she, in the Philippines. No. <laughs> oh, in the Philippines. In the Philippines. Yeah, from where? Okay, it's okay, not, not everything is like. <laughs> it's not like the like, U.S. where sense. we have like Starbucks like, literally like everywhere, like one block away. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, cause she lived near the school, and the school that I used to go to was like up in the like mountains, like in the hills. Oh and wow. That was pretty far away from like any kind of Starbucks. So what I did that day. Was I prepared like uh, a letter and uh, some like gifts, mm. but like because I knew she wanted Starbucks, I what I did was I went all the way like to the mall <clears throat> in the blazing heat, mind you. So like it's really hot in the Philippines and everything is like super sweaty and super humid, 
and because I'm not like a rich like a student, I didn't take like air conditioned buses or taxis. There's a thing called like the jeepneys. Oh my know, god! Uh, you guys What's that? Like, I don't know what that I is. I love Sorry. that. No. So it, what a uh, what a jeepney is? It's like it's. I think it's like special to the Philippines, right? Like only yeah. the Philippines. Just have think metallic bus, genies. no AC, like human oven it's kind a, of. It's a oh. it's a it's a automobile created with junk, basically. Oh, it's, it's, like it's scrap, very scrap metal. Okay. It's like I, must, I might yeah, have seen one. Is it like before, a tuk tuk? You know what a tuk tuk no. is? Us. It's okay. <laughs> like j- imagine, you know, when America was still like in the Philippines and they were helping them oh. in the war, and they have like those vehicles, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they took inspiration from that. Oh. So it's like <laughs> it's war vehicles, but oh. then <laughs> it's a, now it's, a war vehicle. it's like now it's like a you know commute <laughs> for everyone oh. in the Philippines. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, I think they like did, like oh decorated too. Like a lot of jeepneys, you'll see they have like decorations and like animated, like like spray paints on them as well. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool if you think about it. But anyways, going back to the story, so like I ride these jeepneys, right? And they have no windows, mm-hmm. and like because these things are moving like super fast as well, all the windows are open. I'm like sweating out of my mind like Wait, the heat is getting into the car there it's are made no of metal, windows so like it absorbs there's no windows oh. it's all open yeah like, oh, oh, oh it's all it open. sounds it's like, like a even the doors time. are open oh yeah but uh you know me with my uh dedication and all that mm-hmm. uh, wanting to get it's all for this love. girl what she wants all for love. <laughs> a stupid romantist but uh yeah i it took me like almost an hour to get to this mall i went all the way to the mall mm-hmm. to get this starbucks and uh, i got her favorite uh, uh, i think it was a mocha mocha frappuccino mm-hmm. or something <laughs> yeah, this biggest size i can't size. believe and, you remember that and it's so sad it's so sad because i'm holding this oh, i'm holding this starbucks like drink for like an in hour? my hand Ew. Yeah, back to yeah. Imagine, <laughs> yeah. What imagine the hell? How, how gross. So it just like melted, right? <sighs> yeah, it's pretty like watery. Much. Yeah. Like it's so, it's so. I in my head, it played out differently. In my mind, I was like, oh my god, oh. I'm so romantic. I'm so cool. Like she's gonna love this so much. Oh, and I'm bringing this Starbucks drink to her after an hour worth of like driving through traffic <laughs> and like the oh, heat. God. Of oh the Philippines, should have got I a go cooler, to her man. house. I ring the bell and I'm like, "Hey, happy Valentine's Day!" And I give her the drink, and it's so pathetic because all the foams are all like, dr- like, oh, like, it's like all, all melted in the into yeah, the drink. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 the whipped cream. It looks so gross. And I give this to Ugh. her. And she's like, "Uh, thanks, it's like, thank you." And, <laughs> and she like, closed yeah, the door on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. Basically, so what she, like I, oh. I told. No, I, t- I asked her, can I come in? And she's like, oh, sorry. Ah! Like, my, my mom's ah, here. So... And then, like, like, she probably oh wouldn't be God. happy to see any guys. She did have strict parenting. Ooh. And, like, she didn't, her parents didn't really allow her to date at the time. Wow. But I still wanted to, like, yeah. You still wanted <laughs> for to do love. it. Despite I the, this, this knowledge. Big All for the sake of love. Mm. But uh, I was so... It's so sad. Not I. Not that I think about it. it, it the drink was, it, it was disgusting. It was <laughs> did you at least like talk was... afterwards? Like more than like? Did you start dating I did or anything? To her. I think I did confess to her. Okay. Yeah. But and... then she was like, "Sorry, I only see you as a friend." Mm. Ooh. Well, clearly, Sorry. if that girl is yeah. watching this Ouch. podcast right now, you're missing <laughs> out. You take it now. Sorry, sure it's long history. Yeah. Yeah. That ship uh, has I don't even know sailed. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but yeah, that was, gotta, that was a bit of an. I gotta give story. respect to you though, TJ. Like the amount of effort you would go through to give the girl you I like. Was a, I was a bit of a simp. Yeah. Yeah. A, a bit. <laughs> a <laughs> bit. It's not that bad. I was that guy who that like bad. would go like secretly uh, into like other people like other people's lockers. What? Uh, put that uh, and leave notes? Oh. It's, yeah, it's so oh. crazy. Alex, oh, would so you canceled. like it if a guy did something like that what? for you? If someone left me a note? 
or like they like let's say someone did that for you like in tj's um oh like the starbucks situation like he, they went out of their way to get your favorite starbucks drink but it came back like chalky milk like chalky <laughs> milk? Oh my God. i mean there's a oh difference God. if i don't think he existed i would be like who is who this are you person? like who are no, you we, we were pretty good friends like we oh, were okay. pretty oh. well acquainted with each other mm. oh you know. if we're good friends, i thought of her more yeah. than a friend but she probably didn't yeah she oh, didn't have the same feelings, feelings. Mm. damn mm. i mean friends i would accept feels. it but you know i well yeah i mean it's the free same. right reaction mm. kind of like oh we're just friends and also my mom's at home so mm. not the mm. right time mm. <laughs> it's always the mom yeah. card use the mom card enjoy yeah. your one hour drive back home in cold <laughs> shame <laughs> humiliating defeat wow yeah yeah anyways uh, have you guys like alex have you received anything from a guy that have you ever given anything to you? a guy that's like <laughs> romantic <laughs> like ladies oh, have you guys like gosh. done anything big because uh, you know how you guys are like oh the guys always give chocolates and flowers i don't think i've ever i mean it's just <gasps> weird has anyone simped give. over you um, <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh, i think based off of some of her youtube videos i think well, that's a yes <laughs> i want to uh, i want i want to answer the question where it was like you know it's just weird if you give guys chocolates like dude would they even like it wait why is that weird no, would they no. like why it that guys weird? will take anything and they will, they will <laughs> run with it they food. will run with For it they'll be like oh my god she loves me in so really? oh, that's, that's very true yeah oh, like if a girl know... gives a guy something it's like oh that's they start something they, they start oh, overthinking like really like way too I much i feel like in girls yeah. eyes it's different huh <laughs> It's like it's not normalized if a girl gives guys like chocolates and flowers. I think TikTok is normalizing that now. It's like, oh, you should give your your boyfriend chocolates and flowers. But I'm just uh, like, I wouldn't know. Do they even? Well, like boyfriend's one thing, but like to like a crush that you have in like school, like if a girl gives a guy like a gift, dude, I think most guys would be like, oh my god, she loves me. And yeah. it's either it's either yeah. like what especially am I gonna do to drop in, her off, or I know, I I'm gonna be that. with this girl. <laughs> yeah, uh, especially in school, I think it was more prominent. Like those kind of thoughts and ideas were more prominent in school. It's like you no. know, like how much experience do you actually have with a girl? Yeah, growing up in feelings school, run you know? high in high school. Mm -hmm. yeah. People don't mm -hmm. even know what love means at that time. Well, I did give my first boyfriend um, like a, a, a letter because um, my love language is words of affirmation. So mm -hmm. I like writing letters to Aww. the people I love. So. I like oh, it. that's so nice. I love that. Mm hmm. Mm. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> what yeah. about you, Hono? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't have friends in high school. Uh, Wait, I, what? I didn't. <laughs> Um, That's yeah, cause I, no, I was busy uh, with like studying a lot, so I went to school and went home, so I didn't really pay attention to people around me, you know. Mm. Oh, and what? so Nuts. like romance was like not a thing for me in high school. I never went to a school dance. I n never participated <gasps> in anything. Really? Wow. Yeah, I was just wait. Super did studious. you go to public school or private school? I did go to a public school. I went to. Oh whoa. But The problem was I went to two different public schools, so oh. like. I didn't really get the chance to like Make, bond with people like around solid me. friends. There was it's really like weird because it, oh, it's really weird because like the image you give off, it's like yeah, I I, I feel like you would have been really popular back yeah, in high school. I, I no, I mean I I had a lot of acquaintances. Like I talked to people around me fine, and like I wasn't like a super loner or anything. I just didn't like have a friend group where you know I could talk about guys or like be interested in a guy. There was a Valentine's, however, where um, someone did leave flowers on my desk, and mm -hmm. ooh, it was like from a ooh. secret admirer or whatever. But they never like came out and they say, never what? told me said who, who they were. Oh, that's, that's a huge waste. <laughs> wow, yeah. it was, got too nervous. It was interesting. That's oh, cool. yeah, maybe they were too nervous, yeah. Maybe they just wanted yeah. to see your reaction, maybe. just be like, oh, I mean, if, if you were, like if you're, hurt. okay, hot take, if you're about, if you give someone the girl you like flowers, you might as well just commit to yeah, it, you know? Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't see. waste money on flowers and not say anything. <laughs> Dude, flowers are expensive. Like, I mean, <laughs> I can, I can kind of see that, understand, like, you know, like that, uh, like, mindset. Because, like, you give them flowers, right? And you don't put your name on it. 
what if you say you do put your name on it and they just like don't bring it up to you it's like they don't even thank you for the flowers well at least That's you have your answer maybe they were afraid of some kind of like rejection yeah. rejection also, rejection plays a big role in like mm. your actions as true well, like. also i feel like i might have known who it was and usually if like any of my male acquaintances like i felt like they were being a bit too affectionate towards me and i didn't like them i i was very like clear in friend zoning mm. them through That's interaction good. Oh. would you lead them on you, that's good would you conf- oh you would confront them no no like, i wouldn't confront them but just, they were just like being flirty it. i would shut shoot it down really fast She's like hey look so you would ghost them you i just would, see like, you as a friend them, okay what you're saying yeah something like that like how do you how do you make the friend zone clear do you tell them yes. by words or do you tell them first, through actions first it's just hints just like oh thanks oh you're so nice <laughs> <laughs> oh god uh, like it. no I feel well, like I was kind of yeah, mean about it like if like other people were teasing us they're like oh you guys look like you like what's going on over here I'd be like ew no <laughs> oh my god oh my god the guy yeah, yeah, the work. guy who gave once, the flowers is just on the side just like <laughs> sulking looking down on the floor yeah. just like, like once you say and once a girl happen. says ew it's over. Just don't do it. Like, don't go after her. What she if? What if they just you. don't? What if they just don't like the public? You what know, if the public persistence is I, actually I, the key here? No. 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 What's the girl? I. I. You know I that. You know that like... saying where it's like, "Oh, he tired me down" or something. You know. I'm not yes. saying that's. I'm not uh, saying you should do that. Like Alex. But... Alex. Alex. Imagine. Imagine this. You like the guy. But people are like making fun of you and be like, "Oh, you do you like him or something?" Kind of thing. Oh, I see something going on. Would you shoot him down like by saying "ew" or would you? No, act, like, I wouldn't say "ew" if it's the guy that I like. I would revel. I would like soak that shit up. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, did, did I say that no word way. right? Please, please edit it out. I didn't uh, say re- what's revel? <laughs> what's revel anyway? No, I just. Right. Rebel yeah. is like to bask in the. Yeah, yeah bask. Right. Right. I would. She would, be, she would be basking in that. Yeah, I would be basking in that kind mm. of compliment. It's just like, <laughs> really? oh yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, we do. I'd be so together, shy. Right? I'd be so embarrassed. Oh, I mean, I would act. You know, in outside, I'd be like, oh, sorry, stop it. And but inside, <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Yeah." laughs> you know, you know, sometimes, in, yeah, like in school. I had experiences where Classic like Alex. people would like tease um, me and like basically shit me and like another girl together and like maybe at first I didn't feel anything for that girl but then like over time Ooh, because everyone yeah, kept pressure. teasing me Ooh. I kind of like started yeah, yeah, liking yeah. them honestly it kind of it, it's, it plants it's like oh that seed it seems like that, everybody like that thinks that we should be together and then you kind of get to know Ooh, them a little bit more I mean, to, high, high school like, high school yeah yeah, like that happens. Susceptible to yeah. suggestion. But, Interesting. But <laughs> also, uh, the opposite happened too, where like I may yeah. have had feelings for this one girl and she definitely yeah, was yeah, interested yeah. in me. But like all of my friends, like my guy friends, they're like, <laughs> ugh, why is she always like talking to you? <laughs> What? And like she's like not <laughs> cute, bro. Just like what? don't date her. And I was like, oh no, no, that's true. That's true. Dude, it's like no, I literally, like, that's like a, that's that a, really that's influenced my thing. decision. Like, what? I think, oh yeah, like, no, that happened to me too. Actually, yeah, yeah I peer was, like, pressure is really so strong. hard. I was like, oh, she really likes me. Maybe I should like try dating her. But then like all of my guy friends were like, dude, don't do it, bro. She's <laughs> fringe, and I was like, oh, I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> and then like more, I, the more I thought about <laughs> it, I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't I for the approval happen. of my bros or something. I don't know. That Dang. same exact thing happened to me in college. Yeah, there was like this no one way. dude who was super, um, he was super. What what do you call it? Like he he liked me and it was obvious and he made it mm-hmm. obvious to everyone around us and yeah. I actually liked him back. He does follow me, so if you're watching this, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dang. laughs> um, but yeah, I liked him back, but because everyone in my friend group and club were like, "Oh my god, he's so desperate. He's such a simp. Like he's so thirsty no. over oh. you." I was like, "Oh, everyone sees this attention as negative, so I'm." going to 
see it as negative as well yeah yeah and i felt really bad about it because like it it was borderline bullying at that point everyone made him feel bad about it and i couldn't like speak up or do anything about it because i was just peer pressured you know oh wow yeah but i mean like the (laughs) fact that you made that decision in the end you did see like it might have not worked out right like he wasn't really like ideal ideal right you never he know. Was, he, was, just, he was a good he was guy. Influenced by the people's I'm, pressure. I, I, I was just like wondering. I was wondering how you respect it. Guys guy. just can't pursue girls openly, or else you're just gonna be I, called a simp. That's just. I, but I just feel like <laughs> high simp school wasn't even kids, a word they're back like. Then. I know that wasn't even a word back oh. then. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, Alex. Oh no, sorry. I I cut you off right there. No, no, I just go, feel go, go. like with Hono's story, I just feel like. The, that you know high school kids they're quite this was college immature. this was college, oh, this was <laughs> this was college? <laughs> yeah but freshman oh. year Yo, college, college is worse so like, college eh. is worse i feel okay. like college is worse <laughs> judging your friends okay. i can see it in college yeah. i can see it in college too. like i, I get back in worse. i didn't think college was that bad no back in my college in korea like first thing in like like after like there's a thing called mt's People already start dating like after the very very first day after orientation. What's, what's NT? Like, oh, MT is like uh, it's like a field trip uh, that we go to like, oh. before we start school. Oh, okay. To oh. like you know just like to break the ice and like Mountain. get into. Oh, it's like, like it's like orientation <laughs> tour, right? Yeah, yeah, almost something like that. Mm-hmm. We go out like to like a pinch, like a, some kind of Airbnb out. In, oh, like wow, that's um, fun. That sounds cool. Yeah, and around Wait, maybe I should go to this. Korea, cool. We don't have that. <laughs> yeah, and then and then we would get into groups and like start drinking, start making friends, oh. and, like, have some kind of like events, activities happening. Yeah, almost like a, a like a recreation. Yeah, kind of, like field trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, and uh, yeah, uh, like very first day of that, like people people get into like couple like there there's couples everywhere because oh. there's a lot of like rumors and pressure yeah happening so, it's a lot worse in college i feel like so much faster action is happening here than singles inferno basically oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, singles God. inferno <laughs> i don't even know if these people are real they just feel like robots yeah i don't and anyone want to explain what singles inferno is uh to our audience it's, Alex. Oh, it's like okay it's imagine like, you're on an island and everyone's single and they're hot and everyone's hot and they're, and they're, 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 and they're all, they're all show. business it's, people it's a, they're like a, models yeah. you know korean CEOs. dating shows yeah CEOs. they're big deals and well, then deals nothing happens muscles. nothing <laughs> they don't even happens. they didn't oh kiss at except all for the holding entire hands show, right? and a little peck on the cheek that is yeah, the, yeah. That, that is the, the epitome the of the action that happened, that happened. That but was... that's the normal thing. That's the normal thing in Korea because it is a Korean show, and uh, like relationships and like progress based on like Korean culture, it's really slow. Like it's similar to Japan as well, where like affection, like showing affection and getting intimate, mm. it takes a long it, time. It, it takes a long time in Korea oh. to like get used to. Or... Even holding hands. Oh, okay. Like I, when I was dating my first girlfriend in like Korea, like holding hands was like. A big it took deal. A while. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh wow. Like it took months. It took months to get to the holding hand hands stage. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even joking. I was so, just like, assuming what that, would you that do like before PDA, that? just or, talk. Would... <laughs> yeah, just talk, hang out, chill. Like just. Oh damn. It was like, am I even dating her? Kind of thing. Mm. I, it was, it, I was just assuming that PDA like that. was wasn't. like not. Is just it was just something that you didn't do in public or you know skinship. Nope. You do no, that. PDA Ooh, yeah, that's like really public. that's really looked out. It's looked out oh, you shouldn't in Korea, do it. but oh, in people Asian do it regardless. Countries. Like there are people who do that out in public, like in public stations, subways, like parks. But mm-hmm. it's look it's really looked down upon. What's considered like, unacceptable holding hands? Is that PDA? Oh no, no, that's fine. But like, you know, like out in public like kissing. kissing and like Oh, yeah, okay, like, yeah, makes sense. And, like making making noises like ooh <laughs> it's just like it's like would you would you would you i'd be like that too i'd be like oh yuck i remember there was this tweet from emmerichu where she was in korea and she tweeted about like this couple fighting on the street and then yeah. oh yeah like yeah. was there is there like a lot of those that ha- 
that happens in Korea. Like, Bruh, the amount of like oh, arguing, yeah, like actual K drama moment I've seen, like living in Korea, is like insane. Like every like few months, I would see couples out in the streets and their heads on arguing. Like, Ooh. like no tomorrow. Yeah, like, like, scr- like the girls like walking away at each other, and the guys like chasing no. after. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, come back, please. <laughs> no, it's more. It's, Music it's, it's, it's actually like, it's it's actually more rough than that. It's like uh, they're actually arguing in public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Why the heck do you? Do, why the heck do you always do this? Blah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah. I've I've seen that happen in my like in that. my home city. Like, it's a lot of predominantly like uh, Korean and Chinese. But I think it's mostly like the Koreans that have those like dramatic moments like in public <laughs> where like the girls like turn yeah. her back to the guy and the guy's like, get back over here. It's like, what are you doing? And she's just like, oh, <laughs> no, no. I'm like, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love you. I've always it's so, loved it's you. So dramatic. No, no, they don't say they don't say that. They just yell at each other. They just look pissed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So it's just very awkward when you see that. You're I feel like, like sometimes when I'm in a call and I talk in Korean or like like there's a like a Korean conversation happening like mm-hmm. in the background. I feel like like I know a lot of my friends have expressed how like, oh, are you guys arguing or something? Like they thought I was arguing in the back. With who? Was, like because of how, no, not me in general, but like the people talking in Korean being in oh, my background. Oh. Yeah, they thought like they were arguing just because of like how just naturally how Korean when sounds. Korean people like 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 yeah share conversations. Yeah, they sound like they're like arguing or something. People people say that about Cantonese yes. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah or yeah, everything yeah. that we say yeah, sounds like an argument. Yeah, we always sound mad, but <laughs> but really it's just normal. <laughs> it's crazy. just it's just how we discuss things. It's very uh, passionate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tagalog's pretty aggressive too, huh? <laughs> Uh, my voice goes I, I like higher when I talk I like in Tagalog. Tagalog. Uh, maybe yeah. my parents just yell. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he just yells at you. I feel like in Tagalog, everybody sounds more interested in what you're actually saying. It's like, really? oh, I Tagalog. feel like when my friends speak Tagalog, it's a lot more aggressive. But oh, really? Oh, maybe it's just oh, they're yeah. aggressive. I guess, <laughs> I guess it's uh, like Tagalog. when your parents I like, speak. I like Tagalog. <laughs> it's cool. like when your parents speak Tagalog, it's kind of like they're disappointed in you. So when your friends oh, yeah. speak Tagalog, it's kind of like, <gasps> they're disappointed in me. They're angry at me because my <laughs> parents have like you know influenced me to think that when they're speaking English, they're cool with me. But when they're speaking in their native, yeah. in our native tongue, it's kind of like... I feel like oh. it's a very judgy language. True. Yeah. When the, when the Tagalog it's like comes out, judgmental. it's strong emotions. Strong emotions. It's strong emotions. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I feel mm. that. I feel that. I mm. see that. Can I, we have a shishi break? Oh, oh I'm, shisha I'm break. Didn't you just go? Shisha? We have a shisha. Break? I am so sorry. It's been like 35 minutes and I... I don't know why I need to go really bad. Right. That's fine, man. Okay, I'll go. let you and go back. Can you just have like a... And yeah. here's okay. where we would read our sponsor if we had one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking uh, of sponsorship, to, guys. Hey. Shout out to all the sponsorship companies out there. Uh, we could use an ad read right about now. Um, I'm not going to say any <laughs> names because uh, that's, that's free promotion. <laughs> right, right. But uh, um, video game companies, um, like certain audiobook oh, companies. I was, about to, I was about to say something. But, <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh, wait, we're not supposed hair to Hair loss companies, right. uh, underwear loss. companies. Ooh, I know, underwear. I know you guys. Why would I want an underwear company? Oh, you don't Why know about the underwear. you don't know about the popular one, right? I want that. No, I'm, I'm just saying these these like companies because I hear them all the time in sponsorship ad reads. Yeah. Actually, like the... I will accept any sponsor. Underwear well, or no underwear. Not, wait, wait, not I don't, any I don't think you mean that. <laughs> not any uh, sponsor. I would show. accept any sponsor. <laughs> well, okay. Oh. Let me tell you, I had a, I had two videos deleted because of a sponsorship before. Oh, really? Which one? Oh, you yeah. had the, you had like a like book YouTube, one too, right? YouTube deleted my video wait, let because me know about of that. the sponsorship. Yeah. Um, I didn't know name. about. I didn't really know about the company. I, I can just say it right now. It's like now. a I'll, tutor yeah. kind of. So the right? way they presented the company was that it was like a tutoring service um, that helped uh, people, like students, write essays and stuff. Mm. So I thought like they would actually like help 
the students like with tutors to actually guide them on how to write the essays. But in actuality, I think they just wrote the essays for the students. Oh, so like it's kind of like cheating, right? So it's right. not like it is, it is cheating. or anything. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like oh. a service that was actually tutoring. It was more of like a oh, we will write your plagiarism. essay for you. Yeah, plagiarism mm, or whatever. That's pretty bad. <laughs> so I didn't really understand like the company, but you know I was so small back then. Um, yeah, I didn't. I just took Oof. anything that I got. Money and the guy, money. the guy paid me like. Before I even did the sponsorship, he just sent me That's like a PayPal. That's shady. They never do that. What? Yeah, dude. Literally, I think that was like one of my first sponsorships. So I didn't know any better. You wanna you wanna talk you wanna talk about first sponsorships? My first sponsorship. <laughs> I'm not gonna name any names, but it, it was like, like my first like that video got like almost two million views. And he and underpaid I you. They underpaid got, you. And I I got paid five hundred bucks. Hey, that, that's pretty good. It's so that's pretty good. No, when you're first it's not. It's not you know, good. You know, you know how many Yu-Gi-Oh cards you could buy with you know, five hundred dollars? Yeah, but how much? How many views were you getting before that? <laughs> no, what do you mean before that? Just like kidding. that that's that video hot. got like no, I meant like on the video videos alone. previously, like your average oh, like, view like, count. Like, I'm so sorry. Now I need to pee. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. I don't think this is going in the video anyway. No, I feel like this is interesting. It's like a oh, is interesting. it? Oh, okay. Hello, everyone. Sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> this is it, is is it going here. in the video? Oh, I, I'm not sure. I, didn't think I, think, I think it's good to talk about yeah. sponsorships. Like, but we so yeah. people so we went from Valentine's oh, like Day to dating stuff. So we can circle to, back. It doesn't matter. It's, sponsorships. It's a bit of a tangent. No, I, I was like earlier. I was like, oh, if. If there's any like um you know audiobook companies or if there's any self video care game companies, equipment, yeah, self care brands, um, there's any yeah. like yeah um uh, hair loss companies, you know underwear companies, <laughs> we, just just we know just so randomly, we just know an so idea. Oh, okay. uh, sex toy uh, companies. <laughs> oh, I want to be a sex toy company. W would you guys take the sex toy? The I would. Yeah, yeah, I do it. Yeah. I'd do it. Oh my god. You know, I actually, I actually go with what? my my female friends Sexist every now power. and then to What's like a uh, like a uh, intimate <laughs> shop. Yeah. What? Like, I do yeah. it as a joke. I'm like, uh, oh, yeah, you want to go to the you want to go to the dildo <laughs> shop? Let's go. Oh that's god. fun. I feel like that's just a fun thing friends do, right? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've gone to one I, of my friends. I didn't yeah, even fun. know. I was. Friends I think. Did that kind I of think stuff. there was. I think there was one time I was forced to like go into. A, a lingerie shop yeah and i'm not gonna name any names Just but it, it is her. a youtuber <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is a youtuber friend you went of with mine the youtuber friend but you you were just friends right <laughs> oh yeah 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 oh, you, 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 everyone she, everyone here knows who she is but uh like was she she, she visited trying to buy lingerie for time. herself right just say friend. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't want to say YouTube yeah, friend. friend because it's kind of like, okay, oh. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know so this person. Uh, yeah. No big deal. I don't okay. think I don't think she cares. She, she probably, I mean, if she didn't care enough okay, to like, bring me into the lingerie is. shop. I can figure <laughs> out who it is, but like, you all, anyway. Yeah, anyways. Uh, yeah. yeah. It was in Korea. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is so and, obvious now. We know uh, now. <laughs> no. We know now. And we're still not saying any names, so they can keep guessing. And <laughs> it we'll was, never uh, provide oh the answer. Oh my god! It was it was funny because she was like, "Oh yeah, so uh, like uh, I need to buy we, some." Stuff. We were looking around, like trying to buy some stuff. Yeah, and she was like, "Oh, that's a cute laundry shop. Uh, you want to like? It's it's like uh, uh, let's go, let's go to the laundry." <laughs> You're shop. Like, I'm like, okay, what? <laughs> All right, uh, whatever. What? Um. Uh, but yeah, she, uh, the 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 funny part was that she was actually asking me for like advice. Advice. Oh Isn't my like, god! Should I get this? Should Do I you get think that? this would look is good this too, on me? Is this too weird? Is this too raunchy? I don't know. It's like, is this too crazy? That's hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, hey, it's like that new show, it, um, that one anime with the blonde girl. We haven't oh, watched it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I haven't, I haven't Sono, watched it. No bisque. Sono no yeah. bisco. She's like the dress up doll, like, or dress something yeah, dress up doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that, really right? That. People are simping yeah, uh, hard. Was a, there was there was one lingerie. I don't know if this is like too much. Uh, is it okay? It's not. No, this is the PNG <laughs> podcast. We keep it transparent. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, but like there, she was uh, asking me uh, about these two lingeries that was like that she was holding. One was like black and one was red, 
and Gotta like, go with the one black. of the lingerie was like pretty normal, you know, pretty like still skanky, but like pretty normal. Hey, but the other one had like skanky is not a like appropriate. Uh, uh, I mean, right, attractive. Like but uh, like it was, it was a uh, yeah, it was really bold. Uh, classy. Bold, bold, yeah, bold's a good a, word. Yeah, bold, never mind, uh, it's not classy. Classy, bold. Uh huh. Hmm. But uh, the other one had uh, like the you know like the uh, the part. Uh, it, it had like pockets to it i'm not gonna name where but it had huh. pockets okay not pockets, pockets like like an i can't imagine like where opening pockets would go slits for easy access that's ah! oh, <laughs> yeah, so oh cool. that's not a pocket oh, yeah. that's yeah. not a pocket that's I, not a i don't pocket. know too okay. well how wow. to explain it but uh yeah something <laughs> like those did she I, did I she end up buying nice. those oh yeah all <laughs> right Woo. Good, good for you she mm-hmm. has good taste yeah. then Proud of you, proud of you. Mm, lucky yeah, partner, yeah. lucky good partner. For, good, for the, good, <laughs> yeah. good for the guy she's with, I guess. <laughs> it could be just for herself, you know? Like, she could be just interested. I think she just, just likes those things. You guys like buying those type of garments as well, I've right? never bought lingerie oh, no? for anyone before. Uh, <laughs> I thought no, you were going to say for yourself. But, but oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but I was given <laughs> one, TJ, remember? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wait, this is just to make just to make sure it's it's who I think it is. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So. We were all four of us all there. Yeah. Wait. Um. So uh, okay, wait. Okay, what? Okay, okay. The story is um. It was during Christmas and I was in the Philippines uh-huh. and we were all Airbnb the four of us, including um TJ was there as well, and then um we were doing Secret Santa and we were um. We played this game where we just have to write down like five things in on a paper saying like buy something expensive for me or buy something that is sweet, buy something that is personal or meaningful. And then we mm. went to the mall. <laughs> meaning, yeah. Quote unquote meaningful. Mm-hmm. Meaningful. <laughs> mm, so yes. then I wrote Very something meaningful. down on mine, like buy ex- something expensive. So then um they gave me the gift, and it was a Victoria's Secret ooh. lingerie, and I'm like, ooh, wow, <laughs> nice. this is like, oh. Was it classy? or? It's classy. Wow. It's like pastel pink, which is nice. That's mm. cute. Yeah. Have you, it's very cute. Have you used it? Also I have a question. I have a, <laughs> I have a question. Is it weird for guys to like gift, like, I, I don't know, lingeries or garments? Um, stuff like that it depends on the partners. relationship status yeah how far you are into have it. you have you received anything from uh your boyfriend alex something mm, like that no because i don't know i guess i i'm not into the lingerie um oh field so okay. like yeah mm. i don't know like i would like to but i just haven't had the chance to like explore all right kind of thing yeah. Um, mm. Alex's boyfriend, you heard it here first. <laughs> She'd enjoy it. Yeah. You got the green light to go ahead. <laughs> She'd be open to it. <laughs> Keep it classy. Yeah. Oh what about you, Hono? <laughs> what? <laughs> what about what about me? Like I, 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 like, what do you mean uh, about lingerie? Uh, what was the question? Uh, would you like a lingerie? Would you like? Oh, I love you lingerie. Enjoy? Yeah, oh, okay. I, I don't know if you remember, but there was when when TJ told me about that story with that girl. I thought it was so funny. So when we went to the mall, I did it to him again. So I dragged him into the <laughs> a lingerie into mm. Victoria's Secret, oh, and I started talking really loudly, and I was like, "Oh, honey, you'd love like this. this. Is it this? Yeah, I was <laughs> doing it on purpose." Oh, and that's was like, oh, that's like so that. God. I was like, oh, but you I feel love like... this. And it was like this BDSM Santa outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honestly, though, uh, San- like Christmas Santa lingerie is pretty nice. I like that. Oh, my God. It was I like that. Uh, but like, I, I feel like that's more appropriate for like like boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, I feel like it yeah. was what other less... contexts are we talking about? I feel like about? it was less awkward. Right. Uh, I mean, oh, I've been with the other stores yeah, with like your that, friend. With, yeah, yeah just, just friends. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I don't. I didn't think it was like weird or awkward. I think it was. It was okay just like because, a new experience. I mean, it's kind of funny it if was, you go it, with a friend I, and you're, funny. you yeah, pretend it's funny. you pretend to be a couple just to like mess around, right? It's like, oh, no, yeah, I'm I guess. Get, so. get, <laughs> yeah, honey, what do you <laughs> what do you want? Uh, 
Oh, I don't like do that. Wait, dildo. what? You do that? <laughs> <Do we? laughs> I mean, it depends on your how close you are with my friend. I feel like I could do that with like the friends that I went with to like the mm. sex toy shop. Uh, like I'd, uh, I'd be down to like. Mess uh, with I wouldn't employees. do it in a sexual way, but like I have joked around being like boyfriend girlfriend with friends, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. not in a like in sexual way. I'd, I'd be like, awkward. I'd be like with my friend. I'd be like, hey, honey, check out this massive dildo. <laughs> <laughs> do you want this one like loudly oh in the God. store and be like hey what what, what, what we're trying work? to say is that it's just it's oh god yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just, sorry yeah, if that's it's too graphic <laughs> <laughs> massive but i would do that with my friends this 18 so inch funny. destroyer yes <laughs> oh my god okay circling Whoa. circling 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 back to uh you know valentine's the more romantic like side that. of things yeah yeah, the more romantic and appropriate side. <laughs> uh, John, uh, haven't you haven't you been interested in uh, like any any girls recently? Or recently happening? Anything happening recently? Spill the Are tea, John. Doing anything for Valentine's this year? Even though you haven't celebrated in the in the last few years, anything different? But this I have year, celebrated in perhaps? the past few years. I bought myself so many things. I love <laughs> that. <them. laughs> <That's laughs> <That's great. laughs> Please, that doesn't. <laughs> That, that's that, that i mean you know what i mean yeah uh i don't know like this past year like i tried doing online dating and stuff oh yeah you just started yeah. like this yeah. is your first year yeah doing but it, right? I, and uh it was like it was cool for like the first maybe like few months or so um nothing really really happened um yeah and then i kind of just i hate i kind of just fell off i was just like I yeah. <laughs> I don't what know. Is, I, what's 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 something what's something you liked about like the the app in general? You used Hinge, right? What's it called? Hinge? Yeah, yeah, Hinge. I used Hinge. Um, it was what did what did you like about the app? Like, what helped you? In it like, was kind of cool, like did, just trying to like come up with creative ways to to message like like, like get any like attention. profile that, or girl that I liked or I thought was attractive on on the app. Because, you know, it's like you can't just say, like, hi, or how are you doing? And they're not going to respond to that. So or maybe you liked coming up with the pickup lines. Yeah, yeah. It was it was kind of cool. Like, it, it, it got my my brain kind of, like, working towards, like, mm. figuring out creative, like, ways to approach them or try mm. to approach them. Yeah, so asking them, like, creative stuff. questions. Get a conversation um, going. Yeah. And did you did you do did you do what Hono told you to do? Uh, be... Be Wait. all, be what did Hono say? Weird and like, like Hono no. told me you to know. be weird. I'm always weird. Do you so want to see no, that? That, 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 wasn't, that wasn't new information. No, to like me. like creative, creative <laughs> weird. Yeah, you know, like uh, you, you gave outside him some the advice, box, right? Outside the box. Oh yeah, 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 yeah I yeah. did. I've tried it's to quirky. be outside the box and stuff. Yeah, you got to stand know. out. You know. I don't know. Did you I ever mean, probably did you meet up? Did you meet up with anyone? Did you meet up with anyone? Did it? Oh no, not really. I mean, I will say oh. that there, there, the, 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 okay. So, there, <laughs> so there is somebody ish that I'm kind of, sort of, <laughs> interested. In, I suppose. Wait, um, from where? Uh huh. I don't think he you know this person. He can't say where. He can't. But I'll probably. He can't say I mean, where. is it? Like I might do personal, something for. Or is it online or? Oh, personal. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. That's all. That's all. I need yeah. To so I might do something me. special for. Oh, okay. I don't know. So I was asking, I was actually talking to my, to my significant other earlier, like right before this recording, about like if sh if you should do something on Valentine's Day, if it's like someone that you're not like actually together with yet, and yeah, she was like, you LDR. should you should actually not do anything on Valentine's Day because there's like oh yeah, almost like a lot of pressure. That's what I was wondering. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like she was little, like saying you should actually might be wait a little too like strong. a couple couple weeks after Valentine's Day and don't even bring up like oh did you do anything fun for Valentine's Day like don't even bring up that stuff that's what she said mm. um, wait why well what's so because like understand. if you know that she's like single and stuff she doesn't want to be like necessarily reminded that she didn't do anything on Valentine's Day but you know why, I mean why, everybody's why you, everybody's why like you, different. Why don't, why don't, why don't you do something with her? 
I mean, you could, you could, other, but right? it depends it just, on the girl, right? Because she might feel it depends pressured. on the girl. Like, oh, like the context is Valentine's Day. That means he actually, it's like confirmed he likes me and he wants a relationship. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, thing. it's almost like a lot of pressure on the girls. Like, oh my god, he's asking me out specifically because it's Valentine's Day, and he feels like he has to do something, and I feel like a certain way where oh, I have to like give him something. Okay, it's like okay. a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's almost like you just want to, if you really want to do something with the girl, then just do it in a regular context, maybe. I like that Duel- advice. Dually noted. Yes. My <laughs> significant other is very wise. Mm. She's so smart. Yes. <laughs> so cool. Yes. So cool. Yeah. I mean, since since, but, all, you know, since all of you guys different. obviously have a lot more experience than me, you know. I don't. I wouldn't say a lot, John. <laughs> I, I I literally don't have I, a lot. I also wouldn't say a lot. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, one, okay. I've I mean, only dated like, one other in, girl. In, in oh, comparison no. to me, you know, who? <laughs> at least you I guys, mean, have, you know. You just need had, like more life in experience in general. Just talk more with people. So. Yeah. 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 I feel like this is your year, John. I feel like something's something's bound to happen this year for you. It's the yeah. year of the tiger. Wait, what's he, he's not, not a tiger. That's, that's not my year. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Alex this year. Um, you know me um, at all. <laughs> what is your year? What is, I, uh, what is you your know, zodiac tigers, sign? Uh, good luck or something? I don't know. It's just, uh, oh, every every, I, every animal is good luck. Actually, I, I had a stream last week. And then I was talking to my chat about, you know, it's the year mm. of the tiger. Happy Chinese New Year. And then I read my fortune on this like website fortune telling website Mm. about like year of the tigers and uh, you're into that stuff huh (laughs) it doesn't look good what did it say? And so uh, I just well, oh, thank goodness I just I'm not a tiger. Away. Then. <laughs> I just looked away and I was like, I ain't reading that shit. I'm not manifesting it. Yeah, I, don't manifest the negativity. I'm not manifesting. Wait, it's just like <sighs> what the thing the said heck? that it was it's gonna be a bad tiger. year. They it said something about like it's not a good year, but it's also not a bad year. It's kind of like you lose. A bit you lose of some, stuff. And so you it's some. basically some, like yeah. any other year where it's filled with yeah. good stuff and bad stuff. Yeah, mm. so I wouldn't. I guess it's. I wouldn't take it literally. But mm. it's yeah, called a superstition, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We yeah, don't, we don't actually believe in that, do we? We'll we don't. That. We don't I'm manifesting that. You're I like, all I, my tigers I, out I like, there. <laughs> Yeah, we're I like I like how I like how when uh like you know like it tells you something good, and like pretty relate like related to uh, your current situation, it's yeah. like oh my gosh this is so cool this is so accurate it's like almost <laughs> real. Well, it gives you a sense it's of like hope. all negative. It's like let's uh completely ignore yeah, that. Like, yeah, yeah. I guess real. it just it's feels. It just feels good. It's kind of like asking for a friend. Like, what do you think of my dress? And then they're like, "Ew, I hate this dress." And you're mm. like, "Oh, okay." okay. Well, that's like <laughs> a real person a... with a real opinion, though. Yeah, I guess it's a <laughs> as real opposed fun. to like some cosmic blog writer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cosmic know, affirmation. That's just trying to make a very so generalized statement for literally millions of people. Yeah, but <laughs> like you can't help but like feel good when yeah. it's kind of like, yeah, you have really nice fortune, good luck this year. And mm. I'm like, yeah, I like that feeling that yeah. I, you know. I think it just good. helps you manifest like when you're in yeah. that kind of mindset, then it helps you it, how do you how do you say it? It like gets like you motivated, right? Yeah, like, motivated. Oh, if, and then if it's it like something actually good, then you want to work success. harder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you exactly. you want to be what it tells yeah, you. Yeah, you want it, it to is. be. You yeah. want it, you feel like it can come true because mm-hmm. that's what it said. And it's like, okay, I'll work extra hard to make sure yeah. it happens. Yeah. 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 I mean, exactly. you could say the same thing for the opposite. It's like, oh, this bad thing's gonna happen. I would really want to work hard to prove it wrong, kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you can just like ignore and be like, nah, I'm not. I'm gonna go the opposite way and work hard like like you said yeah yeah so it's going all back to going back to ldr uh like about what billy said like have oh how, how has that been for you billy yeah so, so this is this is my first ldr um uh my Sheesh. first Rough. my first relationship is kind of funny because it's the complete opposite um i <laughs> met my first girlfriend in college and she was my next door neighbor in my dorm 
We Ooh. literally had one wall apart from each other. <laughs> and I, <laughs> wow. it's like, that dude, you should, not, you should not, you should not date your neighbor because I think it's like too convenient almost to the point where <laughs> your relationship. Wait, what is that? What is that? What does that mean though? Like, so we, it's... we would see each other every single day, you know, like, and you know, if you're young, there's no younger, distance to make you like miss each other. Cause it's yeah. Like, yeah. You, you never need miss to go each next other. door or like bang all on you the needed, wall. Yeah. Like, Hey, are you still there, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's almost like, <laughs> there's almost like the situation where you learn so much so fast and you can't really like oh. strategize the things you want to like show your partner. Everything just kind of yes. comes out all at once. So yes. you quickly it's, it's learn true. the problems. And dude, that relationship only lasted like three months, maybe four. Oof. Oof. And yeah. you still had Yikes. to be neighbors. And we right. still. <laughs> that, was, that was hard. That, and they were neighbors. That was hard. <laughs> there is a lot of drama yeah. because, you know, you would walk through the hallway. And like you'd see each other, uh, and it's like what is, so there's some kind of there's so much there's so much tension. Sitcom. It's crazy. Just yeah. passive aggressively walking <laughs> past each other. It's, I, I did, it's like an episode of Friends. It's dude, like an episode of Friends. Dude, there was some almost. messed up stuff that I did, like that oh. I feel really bad about, like just because like I had to like, dude, like we had like we exchanged like letters before, right? Like Aww. when we were still together, like they're nice letters, <laughs> and like I was so pissed at like one point, I literally ripped up that letter and threw it in <gasps> front of her door. <gasps> oh my like God. I was, I, I was a horrible person. Oh. I was, I was terrible. Yeah, wait, wait, this yeah. was college. This was freshman year of college. Yeah. Oh shit! Mm. But like something, I don't, I don't remember exactly why I was so mad, but I think I had to. I just felt wow. like I had to do it because we were kind of like doing an on-off thing, but like. It right. just, she just did not make me happy. So I, I just felt like I had to do that just to like cut it off completely. Dang. Yeah. Wow. But uh, anyway, wow. like, so that was like living close to someone. But now that I'm doing it long distance, like I like it actually more than being close to <laughs> my significant other every day. Like, in, it's like, it's interesting because long distance is rough. It's like probably like the hardest yeah, it's like relationship well, situations you can get yourself into, right? Sure, but I do feel like it does have its merits. Like, yeah, yes. so I Being actually, LDR. I actually met this girl. Um, I only went on three dates with her, so the situation is like I got like um, hooked up, recommended with uh from my friend. Like he's like, hey, this girl is looking to date, and you're looking to date. You guys want to go on a date? And I was like, all right, sure. Um. So we met up, went on one date, went on two dates, went on three dates, and, you know, we DTR'd to find the relationship, and we're like, okay, we're, like, together, we'll do the long distance. And she had to uh, go back to Singapore. So that's right. why I felt like I had to, like, move super fast in terms of, like, my intentions, because I really liked her. Right. Um, and right. I knew she was going to go to Singapore, like, go back to Singapore in, like, a couple of weeks. So I was like, all right, I got to move fast. And mm. I just knew that that was going to happen. And we've made it a point to just like call every day. And we've been doing that. So it's really wow. nice. Every wow. single day. Every single day. Every single day. Every day. Dang. <laughs> how, how, how long Dang. do you guys call for? Like, um, like, like typically, the longest amount of hours or just like. We don't talk for too long. Hours. Usually it's just like an hour. Yeah. An hour a day. Oh. Yeah. That still oh. sounds long. And like it, it, it passes by really <laughs> fast. Like I, I just called right before this, and I'm like, oh man, we gotta, I gotta do the podcast. <laughs> so I guess I gotta go. No. Yeah, uh, but yeah, she, I don't she know usually calls she... at like her lunch break, so an hour is like pretty oh. ideal for oh, her too. That's so nice. Yeah. That's good. That's Cause good. Because the time, the time zone yeah, is like my night time is her lunch time, so it works out pretty well. Wow. That's interesting. How about how about to me, you? One hour, you're, one you're hour is not too. enough. Uh, <laughs> but, but you don't call every day, right? Or do you? We, we kind don't. of do. No, we don't. Like, no, 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 no. Ooh. As in, like it's it's more it's Tea. more Tea. it's more common than uh, not. No, it's not right? a bad thing. I think uh, we it, LDR is hard, but with how we work, it works out 
I mean, that you guys are both sense. like animators, so you guys are literally at your computers. You guys can just call, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Both uh, but uh, that's that's uh, that's another thing, cause uh, we like there's times when uh, we are able to work to get like get in a work call and like mm. work together. I'm not very good at multitasking. I don't think mm. she like Hono is as well. But mm. there are like certain aspects of like the work we do mm -hmm. that allows us to like have a lot talk to talk about and work at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it helps but, that we do the same thing, so we're just very understanding that like if yeah. either of us are like mentally MIA, then it's because we're working on a video, or if we really do need or like are feeling down, then we t tell each other like yeah, we're gonna talk. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's good. Important uh, communication. We never, yeah, well, we never like not talk f uh, for like three. Like, if we don't talk, it maybe that it's like three or four days. But like, usually we talk every other day. Or yeah, I mean that's that's, that's good. Day, that's good enough. Yeah. yeah, I and mean it's like. Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead, Alex. Oh, it's like with Billy. Like they talk every day, but they only talk for like an hour, which which works yeah. for them. It's like their that's how their system works for their yeah. relationship. Whereas TJ and Hono, it's like every other day, but they talk like for hours regularly. Yeah. So it mm -hmm. also works for them. So there's like no right system. There's yeah. just you just need right, to right. communicate. There's yeah. Yeah. also like yeah. like there's just like going back to what it's going back to what John said. Like I I do feel like. Not having being like not being able to talk to her for like a day or two does allow like those kind of I miss you feelings. Like, mm -hmm. it, I mean, I always miss her, obviously, but like I that those feelings come in like stronger when I do uh, like get to call her or like get to be yeah. in a call with and her. And then you take like, breaks too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, that's nice. It works. Mm -hmm. It works. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I totally forgot I said that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got so much experience for someone. That, man. Glad you remember. For uh, so much experience for someone like that haven't been in an LDR, but wow, wisdom. I had an LDR experience in high school. Oh, no, so young. Not high school. Oh yeah, yeah, I wanted to ask about like, have you ever been in a like, toxic relationship? That's that one was pretty toxic. Right? Well, or let's Bell say VR. it's just like very, it was a very immature, toxic relationship because it was kind of like two teenagers full of like hormones and no mm. money. <laughs> no it's just money. like, estrogen. no, like, no estrogen. money. Ostrogen. <laughs> no money. <laughs> no money, just hormones. No honey. No money, no honey, right? No money, no honey, exactly. And yeah. it was kind of like that feeling where. It's like, oh, we've been together for like a year and eight months. What do we do really, now? Yeah, like nothing's really <laughs> happening. I'm not doing some kind of part-time job to save up for a new for a trip. Or he's <laughs> also <laughs> not he's also not saving up just to, also to see me. It's kind of like, where is this even going? Mm -hmm. It's at a standstill. Where where yeah, is it? Yeah, it was now? at the. Where do we go was, next? Yeah, it was at a standstill, and it was it came to the point where I was like. Oh, like I really don't mind if we break up. Right oh, damn! And then he, and then the next <laughs> day, mind. and then the next day he broke up with me, and I was oh, like, Oh, he sent you face. He sent you face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he actually went through with it. He went through <laughs> with it. I, I didn't like, think he would actually do it. How you dare did. you? Uh -huh. Even though I thought of it first, yeah. and then. <laughs> He did it, and wow. I was like, oh. Yeah, what? it's always interesting, okay. like, who initiates the breakup if there is I, a breakup. I know, I know. And yeah. it's because he found someone else over there. Whoa, and whoa, yeah. whoa. What? Is he, that borderline cheating? No, no, it no. It was. It was borderline cheating, but I would say he was monk. He was playing monkey bars. Monkey bars. What does that yeah. mean? What does it's, that mean? It's a that term, an term where it's a term where like you're holding on to someone and then now you're reaching for another person oh. while you're still holding on. For well, someone. I mean, I never heard that term before. He yeah. might have not. Australian term? If he never or... like made it official with that other girl and he started feeling feelings for that other girl, that's cheating. Emotional yeah, cheating. That's emotional. But he broke Which it he... up with you. Yeah, but he also was monkey barring to I would, the I other I would say, girl. I mean, I would say if he was keeping it a secret for a very long time, then that's definitely cheating. Yeah. Okay. So I don't there know was about this the time really span, yeah. big red flag for okay. those. Of, okay. So I remember we were 
it was LDR, so we were on a Skype call, and then we were really quiet. It was just like that kind of LDR relationship where the silence just fills in. It's just like there's no point talking, but the, our presence, we can feel our presence there. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, what are you doing now? And he's like, oh, I'm chatting to this girl. What? And I'm like, oh, it's what? 3 a.m. already over there. And he's like, oh. yeah. He said that like, to oh. you? Yeah. And I'm he just said like, he was chatting well, with a girl. That's yeah, yeah, so stupid. And then what? Fucking bold. Okay, but what here's a bold the thing. Move. Here's the, the thing. Like, and that here's wasn't the thing, right? Like, <laughs> no, it's kind of like I trusted him. I don't oh. want to be insecure about like, oh, what? He's you're trying to love. another girl. Trust it's just me. like at three a.m. and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, like, just- I just didn't feel as I-, I was insecure, like really insecure back then. But it's just like that feeling where I know where I stand and I know where he stands and I know that we're together, so mm. I trust him. Mm. Yeah, but it turns oh, I out. Hate, oh, so I hate when the insecurity creeps no. up to you and really like builds up your anxiety. Like that, that's the worst feeling ever. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But I just didn't have that insecurity. I kind of just said like, "Oh, I trust you." Kind of like, "Oh, you mm. know, what, like, what are you guys <laughs> talking so about?" Sad. I was like, "What are you guys talking about?" And he's like, "Oh, we're talking about basketball." She's really into like Filipino dramas, like I am. And I'm like, "Oh, okay." Oh no. Why is he saying it like that? What? what the, a, I'm getting that. He's like literally. <laughs> It in your face. And yeah. I was like, I know. And I was just like, hmm, is this a red flag? I don't know. I'm just tired. That's definitely a red Dang, flag. If, if Hono yeah. was like, oh, yeah, I've been talking to this guy and he's really into MasterChef. Oh, you don't watch MasterChef. So I talked <laughs> about MasterChef <laughs> with him. So, oh, no. like, if, if that was the case, I would have been like, oh, I can watch it too. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can be a part of it. I can okay. change. That's a red flag. That's I can red flag. change. <laughs> well, I Yikes. I feel like I was already emotionally checked out at that point of the relationship. So That's you just why didn't I, care. I had that feeling of like, oh, it doesn't matter mm. if we broke up, mm-hmm. if we break up right now. But that's then interesting. Did. And I'm just like, oh, it totally damn. fizzled. The audacity. Yeah, wow. and then the audacity. Yeah, the worst thing is, oh, this is so sad. It's like he broke up with me through messenger facebook messenger oh, and um lit, yeah classy, i thought lit. yeah and then we were he even he was the one who suggested like we should call on skype to talk about this like you know out and then i was like <laughs> i was like oh okay uh, and then i was waiting for like three hours but he never called oh and my i god and then i messaged him <laughs> again what the i messaged him I messaged him again. I was like, hey, like, you know, are you free right now? We should call right now. Oh, my gosh. And he's like, and then he's like, yeah. "Yeah." And then he was like, sorry, my dad is at the living room, so I can't call. Because their their family PC is at the living room. Mm. So then it's just like, Mm. oh, Oh okay. my god, where Lame. where did this go wrong? Like, we talked about, like, how our LDR re- relationships work out, but, like, what are the don'ts of LDR? Like, how does it turn sour? Um, how did it turn sour? It's just, like... Communication. Is it the people, or is it, like... Yeah. I do feel like it, a part of it where it does go sour is, like, part of the people problem. It's, yeah. like, it's like the guy... It was the guy's... Like, he, he, was, he was in the wrong... I, I would mean, say we were both in the wrong because we were pretty I... immature and insecure. I, mean, I haven't teenagers. really heard anything that you did wrong, Alex. Well, it's... oh, okay. So back yeah, okay. So uh, it's just like when I'm when I was angry back then, I would just go radio silent and just not. Oh yeah, talk, like so, very passive. Yeah, my significant other, mm. she made it very clear that. I will never do that. I'm not allowed to do that. The silent treatment. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Ooh, that's good. I think, that's good. I think that's what I like about her the most um, is mm-hmm. that she's a great communicator and making things very clear, like the boundaries. Yeah. And like, I, I, yeah. I think I think I value communication more than anything in a relationship. So mm-hmm. I feel like that's that's more prominent where like. With, in, like as you grow up as like you in grow the up. older yeah yeah yeah, yeah. cuz like this when you're like I, I, have I feel these like LDR really high works school, yeah or college exactly yeah. so like LDR I don't think it's very well recommended nor does younger. it really work out when yeah it's like yeah 
you don't know how to make those communications work for each other and it's like there's a lot of miscommunication happening because like you're inexperienced in that field yeah i feel mm -hmm. it makes it a lot harder and it just yeah. Maybe that's why like LDR is so looked down upon because it just almost never works out. Yeah, yeah. for for yeah. young people yeah. especially, Generation. it's like you don't make you don't set boundaries, you don't make things super clear, one hundred percent clear of what you want and expect. And yeah, yeah. it's just when you're younger, hard to navigate. You, like, those kids like they don't know just how to eyes, address you know? their emotions. Exactly. Yeah. They don't they don't know how they feel. Younger people just also <laughs> don't know what they want in general, like what they want to do with their lives, mm -hmm. where they see themselves in like the relationship yeah. in a couple years. Uh, not not our audience. Our audiences are, are smart and hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully. Yeah. So they know how to make the right decisions. I cannot right? say like, that. <laughs> what I also maybe they can say... learn from us, yeah. Yeah. We're old. But I also... We have wise advice. Mm -hmm. You're old. I don't know what you mean. What I TJ, also want to say <laughs> is up. like when you're young in an LDR relationship, like like what Billy said, like you wouldn't have any boundaries. Like we didn't have boundaries, yeah. which led to like... Confusion. Oh, what was the... Confusion, but also like you also missed out on a lot of things in life. Oh. In my like opinion, meeting, mean like that? meeting other like, people. Like as in like, like yeah, like it, if I didn't go, if I didn't do an LDR with the with my first boyfriend, like I wouldn't be sitting in front of my computer for twelve hours a day. You know, during my mm. weekends, I could be hanging out with friends in the mall, right, or right, I could be what... living my you life talk, in the present talk, moment. You talked with your LDR for twelve hours. No, it's, I mean, it was, of course, <laughs> it's kind of so like long. that wow. immature, like, <laughs> Didn't you know, know, I want, that? yeah, wow. it's kind of like that, <laughs> um, it's kind of, cool. <laughs> wait, TJ and Hono, do you, monkey, would yeah. you guys talk for 12 hours? Our, I think our, really? our record is 14. Oh my, oh god. my god. god. Yeah. That's the thing with me and Hono, though, like, we, we love talking to, talking to each other, and sure. we just like each other's company, but, like, like we we do communicate and we do like tell each other when like everything. we do need that like like time off or something like it's like yeah I have something to do yeah yeah like I need to run some errands and like I think it's really the just that mature understanding like communication yeah. that require for mm -hmm. things to not go sour and mm -hmm. in in an LDR me mm -hmm. have but yeah it, it works for us if we have time if we have more free time. Then you know, I don't. I don't think it's a bad thing to talk for hours and hours on it. Oh no, no, no. Uh, especially because like I we don't, we don't even know what the time. You just kind of just go with whatever feels normal, you know. So, yeah. yeah, it's not like you're trying to do it for a long time. Like you're not oh, yeah. trying hard right, right. to do this John unnecessary. Has, no, not at all. John has a question. Oh, yeah, I have please. a question. Question as a complete like novice and not <laughs> no experience in this at all. So, I'm just curious. What do you guys? How do? You, what do you guys talk about in those like? 14 hours you know <laughs> see tj and i both have adhd so <laughs> <laughs> when we talk about one uh, thing if we little things in, our, in the conversation will make us talk about it. another thing that we forget what we were talking we about deep. like three topics yeah. ago yeah. and it just a keeps lot of the times like that. interesting a lot so it's, of the so times very like, in the moment about again? kinds of yeah. things Okay. Yeah. 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 In the moment, mm. we don't think about what we want to talk about. We just talk <laughs> about it. Yeah. Interesting. Because <laughs> uh, I guess in my brings, in like, my past experience, like I've like always had to like try to come up with something. If to, like, that's the case, John, it it I think what that's you're trying okay. to say is that you didn't really actually enjoy talking with that yeah. person, or you're or, probably or not like, as it was comfortable it's, talking it's, to that person. Yeah, it's like it was nice in like the first few moments, maybe because you know, obviously, you don't really know them, and so there's like a lot of things to talk about. Right, but then right. eventually, I'm just like. What else can I, I talk to them about? <laughs> I don't think that's a bad thing. Like in the yeah. beginning of our relationship, like there would be times where we didn't know what to talk about, right, honey? And then yeah. you would just ask random questions, and that's mm. how we talk I mean, more. I mean, that was just me though. Like that's how I, I talk. I just right, but I don't think it's a bad questions. thing that you I have to make the yeah, effort right. to like keep yeah. a conversation right. going. It yeah, can encourage yeah. the other person to talk more as well. 
Mm. Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, it's... though. To be fair, because like in the beginning stages of like talking to Hono, I was nervous, and I was like, "What if I, you know, don't have anything to talk about?" What oh if yeah. I just like I was going through yeah, that a lot. All that stuff, you know. Yeah. So what I would do is like pre. Call like I would actually prepare. Oh like, my gosh! Really? Nurse. What yeah. the I would. Heck? Okay. I would. I, did I would. The first but like, couple here's calls. the thing. Though. I did do that actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, but wait, the, wait. here's the thing, though. Here's here's the part uh, where it gets interesting. Is because I would I would do that for a couple of calls, but I would actually never ever use those like the stuff list. I prepared. I would. Yeah. Because like when it when I did get oh, in the call okay, with her, okay. it was, everything was just so All natural. Right, right, right. Yeah. Mm. For. It just like, yeah, I didn't I didn't need those notes. Yeah, I you didn't don't need those notes. Yeah. Yeah. That's no. good. <laughs> natural, natural. It's just about finding. <laughs> so precious. Yeah, for I... me, like, uh, like I'm very grateful for my significant other that she likes to talk a lot. Not like a lot, a lot, <laughs> but like more than uh, other I... girls that I've been on dates with. Like mm. a lot of dates that yeah. I've been on, like. More engaging. I, I feel like More I engaging. have to like. There's like an awkward silence. I feel like I just have to like ask a question. Yeah, I'm that's like, how I. Oh, feel, right. you know. Oh, you're not saying Sometimes. anything. Am I supposed to ask you a question? You know, you could ask me a question, but you're not doing it. So, I'm gonna do it because you're making it hard on me. But mm. <laughs> that's interesting. It's, it's like, definitely for me and Hono, their fault I, though, because <laughs> I can hold for, the conversation. For me and Hono, fine. I, I never. F- I never felt the need to like fill in the void or like fill in awkward silences because I, hmm. I don't know, I just felt that's good. That's okay a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> those you guys kind are of just silences. Lucky. <laughs> yes, we're but uh, very lucky. I, says, although in the beginning stages it, we just talked a lot, so there mm. was really no like silences all too much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was great. I loved it. I I love it even till now. Ooh. Oh, isn't yeah. that sweet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I, probably not what you wanted to hear. Oh, sorry, no, no, it's, yeah. it's great. I've, yeah. I'm I'm John, happy for all there... three of you guys. I, I, mean, I am the... rooting for you, John. <laughs> I am rooting for you this year with that uh, girl. John, that you're seeing. I will yeah, pass John. down the torch because a friend uh, recommended me my si- current significant other. So if I know anyone who's single, I will vouch for you. <gasps> okay. Because I think Same. the success, you, I think Let's the success go, rate on those is a lot better than dating apps because dating apps suck, <laughs> and I don't want people to go through that. You know, I feel like wingmans. Wingmans are nicer. Wingmans are very actual important, actually. Apps. Yeah, wingmans are very important. Have you have you been wingmaned before? Me, properly or John? Yeah, yeah like my uh, current, like, my current. Is that considered being a wingman? Like, I like think so. Yeah. If you're hooked, like if you help seeing... hook someone up, my, then, yeah. my friend literally told this this girl, my significant other, hey, my friend is single, and I know you're looking to date. Do you guys want to go on a date together? That's a wingman. Mm-hmm. And yeah. also just like saying how this person's so great, you know, and how you I don't know might hit it off. Oh, actually, yeah, he did talk me up. He was like, I told you how you. Are good with finances. How you own a house? <laughs> Dude, I was like, mon- oh my god, that's a lot. Responsible. Yeah, he's like, you know, he's a really nice guy. YouTube channel, he has stable a house. job. He's Asian. I, like, oh, I guess I am he's pretty. A YouTuber. I am pretty sick, aren't I? <laughs> I needed <laughs> that's, that. That's that really interesting to me because, like, yeah, it's interesting to me because, like, growing up, I like my, I guess, understanding of a wingman. Like, it was kind of looked down upon. Because no. like some girls would tell me, why don't you come by, like yourself and then ask me or like and then like like talk to me or something like that? Why do you need someone else to do that for you? Isn't that kind of like looked down upon? Well, to oh, have like that to kind of wingman. I don't. Like that? That's a different that's, type, though. That, no, that's but we've type. but we've never met each other before in my scenario. Okay, so there's difference, okay? Because um, yeah. Billy's friend is just connecting them. But the instance yeah. that you're talking about, honey, is like that girl's if friend kind of, know each other, yeah. kind of off-putting is like in public. If, you're, yeah, if you're a guy like a comes up and he's like points over to his friend, he's like, oh, my friend over there is like checking you like, out. And then you know? already yeah, known that's, friend that's setting, completely right. different. That's yeah. like, okay, then why doesn't he come up by himself? You know? Yeah, that's yeah. that's beta energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Being a that's pussy pretty. Cat. That is pretty beta energy. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of beta. So energy. So wingman in the friend. physical space, no good. But like, if no your good. friend could vouch for you and make your resume look really good, that's <laughs> that that's valid. I love yeah. that. 
So John, John haven't so haven't, John, if haven't I you ever been in a toxic? <laughs> oh, no, mm-hmm. go ahead, TJ. <laughs> yeah, well, haven't you ever been in like a toxic kind of relationship, or you kind of found it borderline toxic, or like mm. in the past? Oh, oh, I remember. You had a girl you liked. I but remember. Then she I remember. Also, kind of liked you. Oh yeah, right, and, yeah. In a way, it kind of was a little toxic and I, stuff. What, would you say um, toxic or more of like leading you on kind of thing? Uh, I wouldn't really say it was it leading on. It was actually like partially my fault too. <laughs> um, so, wait, why would you say it's your fault? It's like, what, what you do you do? I think it's just maybe like I kind of like misinterpreted some things and then mm. therefore it kind of led me to ex- have certain expectations. Expectations, yeah. You know? and, okay. then, and then obviously like when things don't go that way, then it's like, oh shoot and stuff so yeah in a way it, it was kind of a kind of a toxic relationship but uh wait but i remember you telling me that she actually like kind of like like she enjoyed your company right she you would you guys would oh yeah i mean we were we were stuff we together were, we were friends and stuff so hmm. did <laughs> right we did but enjoy she never really i don't know did she ever really explain the, like like dtr basically define the relationship did she ever do that Oh, no, not really. Well, maybe it was kind of, sort of, as in, like, we're just still friends. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you, know, you don't that, think she's it? ever had any kind of, like, interest in you throughout, like... Oh, no, I'm pretty sure she did. I mean, she said that she had, like, oh, a lot, Wait, like, a, like that's... once, but um, nah. due to yeah, life it's, it's the life whole back problems. and forth thing that makes things complicated, right? Yeah, pretty much. You gotta be definitive, and you don't want a girl that's yeah. like back and forth all the time. It's just stressful, you know. Yeah, it was just a kind of like a. Is that offensive kind of... to say? I mean, sorry. Uh, no, Alex Hono, it would was, you say that's offensive to say? Just... <laughs> what? Oh, uh, I was like chaotic. Sorry, I was like, life. you don't necessarily want to date someone that's like always back and forth about like. Oh, I may like you, or I oh, I'm not real. Maybe we should just stay friends, kind of thing. Yeah, it's like, no one don't really want to. Wanna, anyone like you don't really want to no waste your time. That. Yeah, you don't really want to waste your time on someone like that. No offense. Yeah. To the mm-hmm. indecisive people out there. Yeah, I feel like sometimes people do that. You gotta know what you girls, want. Or I've seen girls do that. Like some of my girlfriends will do that, just because like they want. It's not a good look. The attention to. Keep it's not a good going, look. You know. They like the attention, but oh, they don't oh come on, on. honey! Oh. I, re- I remember oh you. I remember you mentioning something about like some girls, like like you've also had like experiences like this, but like they kind of just like dip their foot into like, uh, uh, you know, to see if like a guy might be interested in them, and once they are, then the, they kind of just like turn them down or something. Mm. Yeah, like, they just want to know if they still got it or they. Still I feel like my roommate like... was like that before. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. okay. It's okay. We're not, we're, not we're not we're not associated anymore. We're not we're not associated anymore. Oh, okay. But like um like yeah, I've had girlfriends who would flirt with guys or it was very obvious that they were trying to get their attention and mm. just because of the attention cuz it felt good to them, you know. Wow. Hmm. It's like so, a power trip. They, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's like a got the attention. It's like a power trip. It's like you got it or you don't got it. If you don't got it, <laughs> oh that's God. just... Then try to get it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I want to try to get it. Oh. Some but, um, I, I, feel like, I feel like guys do that too, right? Like guys, like yeah. a lot of cast and I'm really, so. I'm really glad that I'm not the like hot guy type where I feel like I need to get... <laughs> what do you mean? Like an X number think, of girls and it'll make me feel good, you know? Like I'm glad oh. that I'm like just a normal person that it's just like wants a regular Inferno. relationship. It's like with the Singles Inferno. It's like with that one guy in Singles Inferno, the veiny guy. Yeah, yeah oh, like, he, like he looks so he was so handsome. On him. Yeah, and then it's just like like he doesn't have anything to say. Like I'm just like, he's just so <laughs> used to like girls coming yeah, up yeah, to yeah. him. I'm glad I'm not like a guy who's like in it for the numbers or like the attractiveness of my significant other. It's just like. Just connection is fine. You don't have to like get it's an the same X thing number as, of girls. Uh, you, know? you know, some great, people great like their whole life is like I want to get a million girls and like it's just yeah it's that's not, it sucks. Just tiring. I feel bad that's, for them. I honestly feel bad for them. Like 
it's just superficial uh, yeah. they yeah. don't know how to co- have deeper connections yeah, with yeah. people so it's, they just i, I, um, I, I, count I the genuinely numbers. feel sorry for them even though yeah. they're like hot and attractive there's like i feel bad for them mm. <laughs> yeah because yeah. like you're not going to be hot and attractive forever and yeah it's it's and like what? they just they come... just i just feel like <laughs> really? yeah <laughs> Alan, that's a thing you're getting <laughs> you're getting uglier and uglier what i'm not saying that <laughs> no. i'm just saying no no like, no we all, we all are we all are i'm what? gonna be ugly are no. you saying that you're gonna yeah. think no. i'm not wow. saying that I was to be fair like, i was talking about myself but i don't, I don't know uh, I, i'm just saying getting like they're constantly you're getting younger and younger each day Anyways, go, go, I'm go just saying, like, I feel now? bad for them. Like, even though they're attractive, <laughs> at the same time, I feel like they're constantly searching for something, which I'm is so true. Yeah. Which is something that I do not want to deal <laughs> no. with. You know? Yeah. No. I, mean, I was talking. I yeah. was talking about, uh, you know, the fact that we are getting older. You know, I've never been that. self-conscious never about be my age never. until <laughs> that recent happening where i went we oh. went out to go get oh, yeah. tj's oh, pcr oh, oh, test and the lady Wait, giving okay, him you, the you test explain. the lady giving him the test for like the pcr covid test was like are you his mom Dude, <laughs> like, that is the most okay so this is this is what happened this is what I've happened is that, yeah this is what happened is that because so that particular for a young day lady, like hono. hono hono woke up and she didn't really like do anything she just put on a fanny pack and a t-shirt <laughs> and the fanny pack was hidden behind her shirt oh my so it kind of like gave her a little bit of a like a Bump. belly lump i oh, look like a mess yeah. just say it i was a hot mess that <laughs> yeah, day she, oh my <laughs> god a real hot mess though uh but uh, uh and uh we went out to get my pcr test so that i could like get ready to leave the states mm-hmm. and we go to this one particular place and it was like I don't, I don't think we even found like we. It was like, is this the door? We couldn't find the entrance, but some person came out of like a door, and it's like this old lady, and she's like, "Are you here for the PCR test?" And like, oh, oh yeah, and we just head inside, to like this. It was like almost like a a maze inside that door, but we end up in this room, and it's like small enclosed room, and I take the I take the test, and as we were like. As we were waiting in the room, we just like share small bits of conversation with the old lady. She's like, oh, where are you guys from? How are you guys doing? And then she brought up like her son that's like also trying to get married. Oh, not also. She's trying to get married to a, a girl in the Philippines. So it's like, oh, wait, I, I'm from the Philippines. Like I lived there and blah, blah, blah. And we had like common, like, I guess a common ground. And like we just had a nice conversation. And at one point, like, as I was done taking, like, my swab test, uh, she asked further questions. I was like, so, so, uh, are you guys, like, like, what's your relationship? Is that, is that your mom? Oh. <laughs> no. oh. Like, the disrespect. What? She should have just left it at, <laughs> what's sorry, your relationship? Oh, no. You got, you got right. <laughs> is that your mom? I'm so sorry. Oh, she no. was apologetic. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, I, 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 I probably was looked. Blind. I was wearing like sweats, a huge jacket. My hair was like in a mess, <laughs> and I had a fanny pack on. Yeah, so <laughs> I guess I looked old or and whatnot. Maybe, the, and maybe the thing TJ, is, the, the way TJ she looked like a fetus. <laughs> you know, yeah, was a, he was all you know, face. handsome and stylish, and I was like Ajuma <laughs> status, like uh, maybe yeah, the contrast. <laughs> Ajuma <laughs> style, you know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> To be to be fair, after what she said, like she after saying that, she was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's cause it's just that you kind of reminded me of my son, and he's really young too." Mm. And I was like, "That doesn't help your case. Yeah, that just stop. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just stop. you're not helping. Just stop. Yeah. So she was the Hono was so traumatized all, yeah. after that. She was like, "Do I?" Do I really look that old? Yeah. <laughs> so to all you people <laughs> listening, <laughs> never assume the relationship. Or age, or anything <laughs> like, about a person. Just older than say me, it. like three Don't years. Just say like, it. what do you mean? <laughs> just, just, just stop. Yeah, let's That's go. That's the lesson. Korean Asian genes. We're uh, dominant. We're, we're superior. Just think superior, about what you're about to say before genes. you say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
right. so, assumptions uh, have yeah. boundaries. Mm. So we've been recording right. for an hour and thirty. Oh, yeah, so an hour and thirty. Time flew by pretty we quick. Can... It's a good one. Uh, you, yeah. we, can, we can stop now if you want. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's good. Think a good stopping good. point. Uh, cue the music. All right. All right. Yeah. The outro music. Uh, anyone want to do the closing? Or, like, what's, what 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 is closing? our closing? We have closing. I guess like just say you know uh, subscribe, like yeah. the video. Yeah, if you guys like and like it. be sure to yeah. stick around for the next one. But uh, also Weekly. like, I think we're gonna we're gonna have like a subreddit. If you guys are interested in that, like join our subreddit. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be in the in the oh, link down are? below. Wow, below. Yeah, we're gonna put like <gasps> right topics. in front of me. We're gonna maybe? ask like, questions, and you guys can respond. Yeah, we're gonna use those, those like as polls and yeah, like polls. just to get more like more participation. Yeah. And you guys you can know? send us mm -hmm. memes yeah. about you know what yeah. you guys heard memes on the podcast. The you guys can make fun of us. Yeah, uh, yeah make we'll fun of me for we'll not talking enough. I think you did good on this episode, John. You did good. Yeah. 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 So um, if you guys also want to do is like fan art, we'll we'll see those as well. Yeah. On and we'll, and we'll, like also we'll put them up. Uh, join join every one of our socials. It's up in the, wherever. It's gonna be in the description. The Down in yeah. the description below. Yeah. Yep. Uh, be sure also be sure to join the Twitter. The Twitter. Yeah. The podcast Twitter. Yes. Like we'll be using that a lot more as well. And I think that should be it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Should be good. Thanks, all guys. Right, uh, hope, uh, thanks for sticking around. Hope to see you all next episode. And yeah. Okay, bye. Right. Bye. bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. bye.